Cardinal Grapplers head to Lakeland for their regional meet that included defending national champ Augsburg. Sophomore Nathan Fitzenreiter looking to repeat his regional champ at 133, his semifinal against Chicago's Francisco Acosta. He shoots in and takes Acosta to his back. He earns the fall in only 27 seconds. Fitzenreiter make quick work of his first three opponents, only needing three minutes, 38 seconds for three pins. Now to 141 and Andrew Zoback wrestling in his own semifinal with St. Olaf's Ryan Timmerman. In the third 2-2 score, Zoback uses his speed to score a reversal and take a 4-2 lead. We end up in overtime after a controversial call tied at five. In OT, Zoback tries to drive the single, but Zimmerman rolls him for the takedown and the win. Zoback heads to Wrestlebacks. Tourney officials getting ready to strap it down before beginning the title matches in prime time. Back to Fitz and Ryder against Darren Hoban from Concordia, Minnesota for the 133 title. First period, the sophomore lulls Hoban to sleep to score two. He went on to win 4-1. He's feeling pretty good. It's hard to describe. I mean, going to nationals in the sport of wrestling is something that takes so much dedication, so much hard work, and to be able to do that is just, it's a relief. It's, it's really just a good experience to be a part of. Zoback hoping to join his teammate there, but to get in that large bid, he needs to win his third place match with Jacob Narvison of Milwaukee School of Engineering. First period, Zoback drags the right leg and moves in behind for the two points. Now in the second with a 4-1 lead, Zoback works the legs to turn Narvison to his back. That near fall gave him a 7-1 lead. He would eventually cruise to a 12-6 victory. Zoback would earn a large bid to head to Nationals. You have this tough loss, I had it won, and then you gotta come back. And these, kid, these are kids you've wrestled all year, you know you can beat them, but it's just a matter of doing it. I mean, you're kinda down in the dumps and you really have to focus on the task at hand and just get it done. Another third place match for a Cardinal freshman Eric Oyster going up against Chicago Maroon Chris Oster at 149. First period, Oyster shoots the double. After some extended driving, he turns it for the two. To the third, Oyster gets the immediate escape to take a 3-2 lead. That would be the final margin. The freshman ends his season at 19-7. He does have a chance to extend that, earning an alternate spot in Lacrosse, Wisconsin for Nationals. You know, so far, pretty proud of our guys. You know, everything didn't go our way, but a lot, of, like you said, a lot of guys stepped up. So um, it's a big deal. It's one of the toughest uh, national qualifiers in the nation. So I mean, we're wrestling some of the best guys in the nation. There's a lot of good wrestling here, so it's, it's good to see those guys. You know, to be the best, you got to wrestle the best, and that's the way to get it done. Everyone has wrestled outstanding today. I mean, bumps and bruises here, a couple mess ups, but they're still hanging in there, wrestling tough. Um, a lot of guys taking third. I'm hoping that we get as many as we can because it's just it's a great thing to share experience with the teammates. Augsburg takes the team title at this year's regional. Cardinals advance two wrestlers with a chance for a third.